Today's Black History presentation is from Ms. Lula Davis, and these are her words on the late U.S. Representative John Lewis. I choose former U.S. Representative John Lewis to present today because I have admired him since he was a very young follower of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. John Lewis was born in Troy, Alabama on February 21st, 1940 to sharecropping parents and was one of six children. In 1957, Lewis left Alabama to attend the American Baptist Theological Seminary in Nashville, Tennessee. There he learned about nonviolent protest and helped organize sit-ins at segregated lunch counters. Lewis was inspired by and worked closely with Dr. King as a member of the Civil Rights Movement. He also was a freedom writer and the youngest speaker at the March on Washington. He also led the demonstration in Alabama that later became known as Bloody Sunday. The freedom riders challenged the segregated facilities encountered at bus terminals in the South, which had been deemed illegal by the U.S. Supreme Court. It was dangerous work that resulted in arrests and beatings for many involved, including himself. In 1963, Lewis chaired the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. In that same year, as one of the Big Six leaders of the Civil Rights Movement, he helped plan the March on Washington. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act became law. However, this still did not make it easy for African Americans to vote in the South. The struggle of African Americans to vote in the South was emphasized with the march from Selma to Montgomery on March 7, 1965. After crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge, the marchers were attacked by state troopers. Lewis was severely beaten and suffered a fractured skull. In 1970, Lewis became the director of Voter Education Project, where during his tenure, they registered millions of minority voters. In 1981, he ran for a seat on the Atlanta City Council and won. This work in public office led to his 1986 election to the House of Representatives, representing Georgia's 5th District. Lewis was the most respected member of Congress, and he served in Congress until his death in July 2020. John Lewis spent his entire life of nonviolence fighting for our rights, and he should be honored for this. John Lewis is my hero. Thank you, Ms. Davis, for your words highlighting our late U.S. Representative. Join us next Sunday for another presentation. We will now begin our worship service. 